guys, Tommy. Welcome back to my movie channel, and thank you very much for joining me for this my spoilers review of the movie Venom. Once again, my friend Sam is joining me for this spoilers review. So if you have not seen Venom yet, I would encourage you to stop eating. <laughs> I would encourage you to stop watching this video, go and see Venom, come back and watch this video again because we're going to get into all the things spoilers, and you don't want to be spoiled for Venom because there are some spoilers in Venom. So we're just going to get straight into it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel below, hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell, so you never miss out on my take on all things movies. So, spoilers, we're going to spoilers, we're not going to go through this in any particular order, we're just going to talk about shit we liked. Mm -hmm. So I want to start with hashtag sexy venom, <laughs> because uh, Lady Venom is in, it's like for five seconds, yeah. but I want to start with sexy venom, talk about, let's talk oh, about sexy venom. I didn't, I, I kind of expected it, but I kind of didn't, like... I knew she'd like go to find Eddie yeah. as Venom because Venom's like I knew where he is. Yeah. But with the dog, because I, yeah. I was when the the, the the symbiote first takes the dog, I'm like, oh, the dog's dead because I hate movies that kill dogs. Aside from John Wick, John Wick killed the dog and it was great. Not the dog dying, but John Wick killing the people after he killed the dog. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. But like that's an example of like a dog killing that worked for me in a movie. Yeah. Like in the saddest way possible. Mm -hmm. Um. But I was like, oh, he killed the dog. Mm -hmm. And then you, find, you see the dog's eyes. I'm like, oh, the symbiote's in the dog. Yeah. And then I thought, I thought, oh, yeah, she's just going to take the dog and yeah. they're going to go and find. Yeah. But then, but then she starts taking out dudes. And I was like, why does Venom have boobies? But it's sexy Venom. Exactly. It's so good. It kind of looked like Catwoman met hideous monster. Yeah. Symbiote. Yeah. That's the only Catwoman comparison you can f draw to Venom is yeah. like the is the, the the sexy Venom bit. Yeah, it's so good. And she like makes out with Eddie to transfer. Yeah, Venom. I had heard there was like a rumor, like there was like a Venom makeout scene, and I was like, please don't tell me Eddie Brock makes out with actual Venom. But he did. But he didn't. But he made out with his girlfriend. Yeah. Like it's not well, his ex girlfriend. <laughs> But it's not like he made out with the symbiote. Yeah. She made out with him to put the symbiote in his mouth. Yeah. Am I right, fellas? Am I right? So, yeah. Like, that's what you do. That's that's when a mummy and a daddy love each other very much. They have symbiote sex. Anyway. So, sexy Venom. Um, I also like the, uh, the whole, like, Venom... Like, as I said in the non-spoiler review, I like the whole dynamic between Venom and Eddie. Mm-hmm. But they're jokes. Like, Venom's funny. Like, Venom himself is... He's a funny character. Mm. Like, the whole... Like, the... Where he said... They climb up the building, and then... And then the window's knocked out, and he says to Eddie, goes, jump. And then you just see Eddie push the elevator button, and then you get down the bottom, you just hear pussy. It was <laughs> my biggest laugh in the entire movie. I don't know, like... If, if, if you love that joke, comment below, like... Because that joke was freaking hilarious. Um... But the whole, like, oh, we're gonna, like, the, the whole Carlton Drake thing with mm. human beings are disposable and all this. Uh, we're gonna, uh, like, go find another planet. And then go find another planet. Like, that didn't work for me. Like, yeah. that that was, like, oh, we're going back to this shit. Yeah, I feel like it was, like, lazy writing. Cause that's, like, every evil scientist boss character. A, lo a lot of the movie was lazy writing. Like, to me, like, just general, like, story-wise. Yeah. The Eddie and Venom stuff is great. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's the reason that, like, I think the movie works so well. Yeah. I could have sat there and watched the whole movie just of Eddie and Venom just... Which is, which is why I wish they got to Venom sooner. Yeah. Because the, the whole first hour is, like, them, like, him and, and his girlfriend are having issues and then she dumps him because he gets her fired mm. and then he gets fired and then... It's like, oh, I don't really care about this. Yeah. Like, I get you have to set up Eddie Brock, which mm. they did, but you could have set it up. And then they do something that I really hate in movies. When it's done well, it's fine. But the whole jump six months later thing yeah, yeah. was like, oh, because Tom Hardy said in an interview recently that there's, there's like 40 minutes that is like cut out. Because the movie's only like an hour 45, mm. which is like, it's a short movie. Because yeah. we looked, we were like, what the, f like, <laughs> that's it. Mm. Um, so when they did the like six months later time, co like title that came up, I was like, this there's stuff in there that's in between yeah. that and that and that that's lazy to me yeah. is like but we would just like you know because they had at the start they had the symbiote crash lands to mm -hmm. earth and then it takes over like three or four different people yeah and then it jumped to, and I was like no but stay with the symbiote yeah. like anyway so 
Anything uh, spoilery that you want to get into? Oh god, okay. Um, we talked about Lady Venom. <laughs> we talked about... What did, what did you think of the, the, the villain, the, the fight at the end you were saying oh, it, as we left? Like, the I whole... really liked it, like when they slowed down and it was kind of like the two hosts. They, they did the slow motion the shot. Splattering of the, the, symbi the that symbiotes. That was really cool. I yeah. thought that was like my phone wallpaper. But like it, it, it um... Because at first I was like, ah, oh, big CGI fight. Ah, yeah. uh, like, uh, just a big CGI fest. Yeah. And the CGI wasn't... Yeah. Wasn't great. Uh, like, in some parts it was, but in other parts... Mm. Of, uh, I felt like it was hard to keep up with what was going on in the fight. There was just so much going on. It's like... But plus it was at night time. Yeah. Like, that's... I think that's the biggest They're problem with this movie, like, is, like, whenever Venom is fighting happens. anybody... Like, that awesome scene... What well, well, could have been a more awesome scene when he's taking out all the... All the dudes, the SWAT team, hmm. in the in the building, and he's like throwing people at other people. Uh, that was really fun, but it could have been a lot more fun if we could actually see what was going on. Mm. And that's, I think, one of the biggest problems of the movie. Yeah. But like otherwise, I think this movie's pretty good. I don't think it's Catwoman bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. As I said, like anything else you got to add? Like the, I mean, the post credit scene is like. Yeah, post credit scenes. Like, I don't get it. I don't follow like the comic scene. But well, like, but like that's the that's the thing with it is like it. People who know who Carnage is, mm -hmm. like they didn't set it up. It was just like this post credit scene out of nowhere. Yeah. And there was no hints to it in the movies, and I just feel like, okay, mm. you're trying to build a universe, but it's not yeah. really working the way. But you it was kind of associated in the Marvel Universe, because as, as we saw Stan Lee, yeah, of course. Yeah, which was cool. Yeah. And then he said, that's a, that's a delicious dog. <laughs> that dog looks... Yeah, who's this guy? <laughs> it's like, Venom doesn't know who Stan Lee is. Awesome. But, like, Venom himself is sick. Like, yeah. with the whole turn in the wind thing, that worked for me. It didn't work for a lot of people, but it worked for me. I love that. Um, yeah, and, and Tom Hardy... I don't. I just don't know why he feels the need to put on a stupid voice every role. Like, why can't he just talk like Tom Hardy? I like, guess. I guess it kind of goes with like the character, because sure. Whatever but like Bane, name. he was like, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Like to me, it's a. I get whiffs of his performance in this gives me whiffs of like Johnny Depp at certain yeah. points where I'm like, okay, that's a bit ridiculous. I think because because I'm a long time Tom Hardy fan. Yeah. I think he's very typecast as like the serious, like the business. And mm -hmm. If you've seen like Peaky Blinders or like, and I like Tom Hardy, like I do, but it's like just at certain points in the movie, I'm like it doesn't quite yeah work. He doesn't suit his personality per se in other movies. Yeah, yeah, and I don't like I don't know because see in well maybe I don't know. I'm just, I was just thinking about like the personality match between mm. Eddie Brock and Venom. Yeah. Cause, like Eddie Brock's this like whiny, like he's not whiny, but he's he's not really a tough guy. Yeah, but in the start of the film, he was like very confident. He's like yeah, like, yeah. and then he just turned into like a little like introverted person. introverted person after the breakup. Like even before Venom, he was a bit yeah. Um, so I was like okay, but I get, I could see where they were going because like Venom, and then he, I, I like that he eventually got used to it, and then like him and Venom like became friends like pretty quick. Yeah. And I love, like, at the end when he was like, okay, here's the deal. You can only eat bad people. Yeah. Can't have... So I like that, like, they set yeah. that up. Yeah, and when they set it up, when the guy was robbing the store again, he's like, bad person? Yes. yes. I love that. That's why I love that, because, yeah, I, I mean, obviously it was spoiled for me in the trailers, because I knew he was going to eat him. And Venom eats, like, th maybe three heads in yeah. this movie, which... Which both characters, like, he just ate a head. Oh, and, and Lady Venom ate, so there's three. Yeah. So there's the one that he eats. Yeah, he eats he eats that guy at the end. In the part in there. Lady part, Venom eats one in the forest, and I'm pretty sure he eats another one somewhere. Um, mm. So there's three. I would have liked to have seen Venom eat more people. Yeah. Uh, that would have been fun. Mm. Um, I don't think this movie needed to be rated R, like everyone was saying. It, it was rated be... R? No, it wasn't. Oh, okay. But, it, but it, people were saying it should have been. Yeah. And I'm like, but why? Like... First of all, okay, can we just... How the hell did Eddie survive being stabbed through the... Well, he died, but then the symbiote, whatever it's called, came Yeah, but, the, and... but see, here's the thing, right? The symbiote, like, Venom said to him, if you die, I die. So he was already dead. Well, he might he might have been dying, but not necessarily dead. Okay, yet. okay, sure. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm just like, uh Like, it's not, it wasn't the heart, it was like here. 
So it's like you get stuffed food, like, what is that, the stomach? The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that's called. It's called the stomach, well, yes. Well, there's like intestines and yeah, shit, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, where all the, yeah, all right, I Sam doesn't that know. I in high school. Did you, how did you go on biology? <laughs> I didn't do biology, <laughs> you didn't I did science, did and science? I failed. You failed it, yeah, just like, um, yeah, this, just like this movie kind of fails <laughs> at science. Anyway, so that's our spoilers discussion, unless you have anything else to add. Um, no, not really. No. Okay, well, I don't know why I bothered, because she's pretty... She didn't add much. That's it! That's all I got! I tried to make a joke there, but it didn't work. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember, hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so you never miss out on my take, and occasionally Sam's take, on all things movies. Thank you for doing this videos with me. I paid for my tickets. So I, I did. That's the deal. Uh, people who come and, and review movies with me get their tickets paid for, so if you want a free movie and you just have to do the review with me uh, so yeah thank you very much for joining us guys and I will see you guys next time